The following video is not intended for children, and it's best enjoyed if you either don't care about spoilers, or you already finished the patch indicated by the title. Now where's my chicken nuggets? Hello, Steak Driven here. I just got back from Kentucky and Tennessee. I bought one of these beauties from beautiful Bucky's. Oh my god, don't get me started on Bucky's. <laughs> here we are in Rods and Han. We're gonna speak to our good old buddy Varshi over here, and we're gonna start currying flavor. Mmm. Varshan's eyes have lit up as he sees us, and we're gonna have some fun here. Probably involving curry. Boone, tis good to see you. Have you any news from old Charlian? We've yet to hear from Yestola regarding her search for a means to return to the void. I must confess that her silence has left me feeling restless. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, that's my fault. Her mouth has been otherwise occupied. Nor am I alone in this. Estinian has such an excess of energy that he has been helping to train our soldiers with nary a grumble. Uh, he doesn't talk much, really. As for Zero... She's right behind me, isn't she? <sighs> Is something the matter? No, no. Boone paid us a visit. So I was apprising him of recent developments, or the lack thereof. Are you heading somewhere? I to replenish my ether. Oh, that's why I'm here. I was here to pick you up anyway. Would you like to come? A rare but most welcoming invitation. Timely too, I might add. I myself was thinking of entering out into the city. It would be my pleasure to join you. You will accompany us, of course. We're gonna see Shtola. Why would I not go? Come then. I have an errand to run at the bazaar first. Oh, filler quest. Time for a filler quest, right? Am I right? Am I right? You know I'm right! I'm picking up some more spice. Mary told me to do so before my next visit. Mr. Zero has quite the tolerance, you see. The sisters know we hand is your fond of spicy food, but I doubt any of us can keep up with her. With just the spices they normally have on hand, the mayhem can't quite satisfy her. Phrasing. Which is why I'm happy to provide what they need to achieve more rigorous flavors. Now then, variety being the spice of life, and spice being the variety of life, perhaps you'd like to choose something extra blend, extra to blend Mistress Zero's useful or shri shri. Whatever, I'm going with it. It'll help keep things interesting. What do you say? Fine by me. You can appreciate the nuances of this world's sustenance far better than I can, I expect. And now for the ASMR portion of this episode. The lustrous crimson powder, the aromatic black corns, the little red husks, and the coarse yellow flakes. Of course, we're going to go with the lustrous crimson powder. Ah, that's a fine choice, but you don't have to take my word for it. You tentatively place some of the spice on your tongue. A veritable blaze engulfs your mouth. Mmm. Your reaction speaks volumes. That will suffice then. Always a pleasure, Mistress Zero. And why is my accent changing? Ah, the peaceful music. My usual, please. But with this spice. Of course, Cyril. It would be my pleasure. Well, now, this is enough to make a whole kettle of your special curry. She puts it away like you wouldn't believe. I don't need that much. She, she eats Rest more of the- Rest assured, mm. it's easy enough to make a serving just for you. Or we could make the kettle and share it. There would be enough not only for your companions, but other diners as well. I dare say everyone will be delighted. Or, you know, rushing off to the bathroom. Very well. 
A full kettle, then. And they don't have bucks. Excellent. Bu we'll prepare it at once. And Aetherius does not have Bucky's bathrooms, and man. for your excellency and our esteemed adventurer, are you happy to try a bowl of Zero's curry? Do I get a choice? We can make yours milder if you prefer. Grateful though I am for the offer, I cannot fully appreciate the flavor with this vessel. Another time, perhaps. As for me, the spicier the better. Do not hold back on my account, my friend. Eat and enjoy. I never turn down a good meal. What have I ever? Oh, I can't say this hotter the better. Make mine a double. Understood. Please make yourselves comfortable. Ah, how nice. It gladdens me to see you taken to life in Rad's at hand, Zero. In the area of our cuisine, not least of all. Spicy dishes have long been favored in our sultry clime for their ability to whet the appetite and cool the body. True. Of course, spices also have the effect of preserving foods, which makes them highly coveted in foreign lands. Oh boy, history lesson! All of this has given rise to a thriving spice industry, and the wealth it brings has allowed our nation to prosper while maintaining its neutrality. So you trade your spices? Seems rather more complicated than trading in ether. <laughs> yeah, but the results speak for themselves, right? In the really. beginning, this land was no more than refuge for me. But now it is my home, and the people of Radzat Han, my beloved children. Aww. Together, we build this vibrant nation. On rock and, and roll. Would please me more than to show it to my sister one day. Vibrant. Rubicante said the same when he described this world. Rubicante, Rubicante, da 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 da. A reminder of all that has been stolen from us. What many who remember doubtless yearn to take back. Hmm. Our home is a lost cause. Our only choice to begin anew. <laughs> he sure had been. In this world, where we may reclaim our mortality. In this world. He sure had magnificent thighs, though, didn't he? Nonetheless, it's wrong to damn another to save yourself. As I told Rubicante, as I found myself moved to speak. I still do not understand what made me feel this way, nor what compels you mortals to help one another. I have that effect on people. But I hope to someday. We too hope that you will find the answers you see. I love that song! What <clears throat> is going on? What? What's happening? The silly music's playing, so... Oh, it's the curry. Compliments of Mistress Zero, the Sartrap's honored guest. We are serving a special curry Food for porn. anyone who wishes to pass. Food porn! But be warned, it is not for the faint of heart. I'll take three balls. Oh, by all means, I'd welcome the challenge. Oh, God, they're going to make this a curry challenge kind of thing, aren't they? Uh, sisters have mercy. The smell alone is... Oh, he randomly orgasmed and passed out. Yeah, make that five balls. Oh, I've been maintain the facade. The alchemists ensured that my vessel was capable of consuming food. Oh, but well, they didn't give it like a human tongue, did they? However, I fear Zero's curry would test the limits of their design. 
Apologies for the delay. Please relax and enjoy your meal. Are we about to get an epic freak out? Relax. I don't have time for that. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Come. Let's replenish our ether. Oh god, that screenshot it. That's gotta be a meme. Yeah, let's do this. Mmm, yummy, 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 yummy. Mmm, nom, 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 nom. Oh my god, everybody else is dead, and where are the other people standing? Ah. Are we down eat with chai tea? Yes, we are. I thought the bouquet of flavors was absolutely perfect, stunning, divine! I trust you have eaten your fill. Oh, I'm about as full as I'm gonna get. I shall have Marid prepare a meal for us to take to Estinium. I suspect he too is overdue a replenishment. I'll bet that's loaded with sugar. By this hour, he will have retired to his chambers at Magaduta. Come, let us pay him a visit. We're all gonna need a Magaduta after this. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, it's probably gonna cut the video. It's gonna start fading out and then... Estinian, are you there? We've brought something for you. Yeah, there's not a tie on the door, is there? I enter. You better be decent in there. <sighs> oh. Um, okay. <sighs> this is gonna be a meme. This is gonna be a whole thing online. Hey, I still can't do that yet. I, I haven't finished all my guild missions. Or squid masala from the Mehane. Ooh, squid. I thought you might enjoy it. Masala, eh? I prefer my squid dried, but I'm sure it won't disappoint. My thanks. Idle as I am in our sorceress's absence, I see. I can't offer much in the way of entertainment, but make yourselves comfortable. I've been bringing her sandwiches almost every day. Oh God, ah! Thirsty Zero is thirsty. Shall we disrobe as well? <laughs> I don't want to put on my throat. No, no. We simply caught our friend unprepared. He will make himself presentable at once. <laughs> I am sure. <laughs> oh dear God. Okay, water, 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 water. Because otherwise I'm going to mess up my throat by laughing in this. Oh my God, this patch already has provided me with so much joy. Oh yes. Do, 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 do. Who that? <clears throat> At last, we've been looking for you. <clears throat> My friends, tell me, were you able to devise a way to return to the 13th? I believe so. It required a visit to the moon, where I took the opportunity to enlist Orionje's assistance. Oh, so that's where you went. Ishtola hath told me all. I should be glad to help you free Ashdaya and put an end to Golbez's dark plot. All right, Buff Daddy, let's go. <clears throat> if Rubicante spoke true, both Golbez and Ashdaya are on the moon of the 13th. Hmm. Unlike here in the source, however, we have no means of making the journey from the surface of the star itself. The technology simply does not exist. Uh, can we take Therefore, the right Therefore, I propose that we employ a gate to deliver us directly to our destination. Couldn't we use the Ragnarok, though? Is such a feat possible? In theory, having once been a single hole, the source and its reflections share striking similarities in geography. Geography? And according to a certain <clears throat> someone who unceremoniously whisked us away to the first, <laughs> the same locations across the world are intrinsically bound. <laughs> All of which is to say, were we to pass through a gate on the source's moon, 
It should lead us to the moon of the 13th. Are you sure about that? Oh. Uh, but I trust you. Of course. There is the risk of Voidsent gaining entry to our world. Thus did I decide to seek Orionje's counsel. Hmm. Both the Watcher and the Loperitz are aware of our proposed endeavor. Mm -hmm. While they are yet deliberating precautionary measures, they have pledged their full cooperation. Wonderful. You've been busy. I presume you've also found a way to open this gate. Be it in Radzat Han or Shalian, scholars have long cast their gaze onto the endless dark of the void. And so, with Harnish insights to augment our knowledge, we have indeed conceived of a promising plan to pierce the veil. Hmm, talk nerdy to me. A plan I am confident will succeed, precisely because the moon is our stage. I love it when she speaks with confidence. The preparations will be extensive, and we will require vast quantities of ether. Where are we going to get it? After all, our gate must be large enough to accommodate another great worm. Oh, is he going to come in in full dragon form? My proposal entails delivering copious amounts of ether to the Tower of Babel in Garlemald. All right, that must be what we saw in the trailer. As you will recall, Fan Daniel used the structure to destroy the brands imprisoning Zodiac. And we, in like manner, will use it to channel ether to the moon and thereby open our gate. <clears throat> I see. Then we shall need someone on the moon for the necessary rituals. Well, that'd be our spellcasters, right? Just so, right? Your Excellency. I intend to head back anon for that very purpose, as well as to help devise our strategy to deal with invading Voidsent. Hmm. Along with our lunar allies, we will once again require the assistance of your alchemists, Nidana not least of all. May I trouble you to serve as their escort? Fine by me. The room was beginning to feel constraining. For my part, I shall oversee the requisite tasks on the star. Might I prevail upon you for your assistance? Don't say another word. You've got me. Oh, you're talking to him. Oh, bleh. Excuse me. If all are in agreement, then let us set to work. Point my sword in the right direction. We'll open our gate. And we will stop, Golbez. Actually, I'll stop Golbez. Me and seven other warriors of light that I summoned from other worlds. <clears throat> Whoa. The full moon out tonight. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, now I've got myself a PNG image to use. If one and all are ready, then let us set forth our preparations to complete. Tis cutscene time. My apologies for the delay. My, that is a striking simulacrum indeed, well suited to the work of hair, I doubt not. Allow me to explain Ystola's plan in great detail as soon as I turn off auto advance. Hmm. As you know, we seek to open a void gate in Mare Lamentorum, that we might gain direct passage to the moon of the 13th. Whilst our comrades labor upon the moon, we must needs accomplish two tasks. The first is the procurement of a substantial quality of ether Dumbass! and subsequent delivery of it unto the Tower of Babil. 
Said structure was once used to siphon the land's essence by way of the teleferized spires. Such a method, however, doth pose an unacceptable risk to the greater etheric balance of the world. Thus must we seek an alternate means of conveying our requisite resource. Yeah. Our second task doth pertain to the use of the Tower of Babil itself. You may recall that this portal unto the moon was placed under the supervision of the Ilsabad contingent. If we would employ it to different ends, we must first obtain the contingent's express permission. I'm sure Zira wants to see Julius again, or vice versa. I should like to believe they would not refuse us, so perhaps we should concern ourselves with the ether problem first. Have you any idea whence we might source such a vast quantity? Aye, a likely location doth come to mind. Let us make for the airship landing there. I shall reveal more. All right, meet you there. One brief conversation with Ojika later. Oh, it's Aaronville. Hi, Aaronville. Trial. Well, now, if it isn't two of my dearest friends. As for the other two, I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Not in this vessel, perhaps. Tis I, Vashan. Though, you are welcome to call me Vritra, if you prefer. Pay me no mind. I merely accompany them. Oh, come on, Zero. You're our friend, too. I pray you forgive us our intrusion. If you are occupied, we shall call again anon. This is like the ultimate height difference shot there, because Bun Boy's... It's quite all right. We've just finished swapping all our secrets anyway. You guys going on a date? Yeah, okay. Phil occasionally comes That's fine. and shares the latest gleaner gossip, you see. Oh, that kind of meeting. Okay. From forgotten ruins to mysterious relics, if there's aught that might be of interest to the students, he kindly lets us know. Are elves and tallest or bun boys? Alas, I must soon depart on an expedition. Oh, would you come with us? As I may be away for an extended period, <laughs> I wish to give Kryl fair warning. Hence my visit today. Hey, Tharks, stand. I see. There are specimens that want for procuring, I presume? Hmm. No, no, it isn't guilt ship business, but rather... It's a hot date, isn't it? Yeah, you got you got a girl going for you. Or a guy. Whichever. Uh, homecoming. Oh, you're going to your homeland! But enough about me. You have whoa, business whoa, 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 whoa! Lore! Lore! I want more... Whoa, 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 I want to hear about this! I want to hear about this! As a matter of fact, we should be grateful if you could stay and share your knowledge of the nearby isles with us. Yeah, yeah, I want to hear more about this uh, homecoming of yours. Well, hold we on, I want... seek a means to travel to the void. There, a man named Golbez plots to invade our world. A man who even now holds my sister hostage. Hmm. He's a big smelly jerk! Varshan recounted the ex events of the last three expansions. To that end, we require a great quantity of ether, which we understand may be had on the Isle of Harm. <sighs> we came in the hope of exploring how it might best be procured. Hey, where's Ra, anyway? An invasion from the 13th. Must the stakes always be so dramatic? Ah, uh, sometimes. You have a knack for finding trouble. <laughs> Guilty as charged. If you collected world ending crises, you could make quite a name for yourself in our profession. <laughs> Guilty as charged. It's true the Isle of Ham is a veritable font of ether, but as it's under the forum's direct jurisdiction, only a privileged few get to set foot there. Hmm. I myself haven't. A million owes me. So if we want to help ourselves to the Isle's ether, we'll need to secure the Forum's permission. 
That shouldn't be too hard, let's be honest. Very well. The students of Baldessian recognize your endeavors as combating a grave threat to the world. As Woo representative, I hereby pledge our full assistance. Thank you, Kryle. You're the best, Kryle. Now that it's official, you may leave the politics and paperwork to me. Our operations remain Thank small, God. but we shouldn't meet any undue resistance. We are truly grateful. I'll bake you a cake later. If I may. Hmm. I enjoy the sound of your According voice. According to the original plan for the Exodus, Ether collected from the Isle of Harm was to power Ham. the Ark. How are you going to transport? Are chance familiar with the logistics of That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Like, how are they planning on moving it? I don't know anything about that, I'm afraid. Nor do I think any cleaner would. You might have better luck asking someone involved with the Ark's construction. Oh, are we gonna go see Dank Cock? Margaret, for instance. Oh. She's who? a researcher in Charlie and Hamlet. I met with her for a job recently, and she mentioned working on the Ragnarok's propulsion system. Come on, say it. We gotta meet Cockle Dankle. You could do worse than to seek her out while awaiting the foreign's verdict. Okay. Maybe I'll gather some materials we while I'm there. Well, do just that. Our gratitude for thine advice, and may this threat be but a memory upon thy return. My desk is made of particle board, but now then, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, go do handsome guy stuff. I best start drafting our petition. Go on and find your researcher. I'll contact you as soon as we've made progress. And I'll let you know when I find out whatever Ra's up to. Here to Mistress Kryle and hi ourselves hi. to Navarithos. That's a new one on me. Hi. H-I-E. Hi. We're getting high up in here. Yeah. Yeah. Right then. Time to put our best foot forward. You're awesome, Kral. Ooh, books. Oh, a pity you can't tidy yourself. I should have had Ishtola enchant you when I had the chance. Yeah, sorry. Boone was uh, keeping her otherwise occupied whenever she actually had any time to herself. And what have we here? Oh. What? Later, Kryle. Later. Yeah, don't get us. You've work to do. Don't be me. <laughs> By the way, for today's must needs counter, we have Glenn Murray fifteen. Meh <laughs> meh. Visitors, how delightful! If you require assistance, then ask away. It so happens you've caught me at a good time. Forgive us for the abruptness of our inquiry, but tis our understanding that thou have had charge of the Ragnarok's propulsion systems. We should like to know how ether harvested at the Isle of Ham was to be stored and transported to the Ark, if the disclosure of such information is permitted. <clears throat> Oh, it's no bother at all. We built special tanks that can store ether, just like we use casks to store wine. Simple, really. Simple, but quite brilliant in construction. They rivaled even crystals for etheric capacity. A pity we never got to use them. Oh, great news then. Ah, oh, how muddled and distant the memory. When Doom's deadline loomed large and we extricated ourselves from a waste-time mine of work only to end up chin-deep in another... I was at one with the world, a conduit for the energies of creation, but now I am truly alive. Who would have thought that sleeping in a bed and eating warm meals could make such a difference? Literally anyone who's ever been into college. Why, I feel positively functional. Like me after a cup of coffee. 
I dare say it rivals the thrill of dancing on the knife edge of failure. <laughs> I do believe that this woman hath lost her marbles. The proverbial marbles. We are glad for you, quite. On the subject of the ether tanks, do you know what became of them? <laughs> uh, what became of them? Oh, for the life of me, I can't seem to remember. Oh, you sages and your forgetfulness. Eh? But I do remember someone who might remember it. He should be back by now. I'll just look for the fellow wearing an outfit that screams, I've been on vacation and you haven't! Very well. We shall speak out this conspicuous colleague of thine. Our serious gratitude, Margaret. And do look after thyself. Come. Let us seek out this individual attired in a manner suggestive of recent furlough. Furlough, nice. All right, let's find uh, the furlough attired dude. Yes! Yes! Whoa, the face that launched our teeny tiny boat. How you been, Boone? Able to catch a bit of rest? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, cool, <God>, blimey. <laughs> well, if I don't know about either tanks, then who in Baragot's name would? Born right in me very own workshop, they were. Let's blow some things up. I love this guy. <laughs> A pleasure as always, Master Cockle. I trust that respite proved rejuvenating. Oh, and then some. Well, I won't bore you with the details, at least not with a drink without a drink in me. So, war the interest in our little tanks. You want to blow something up? Permit me to explain. Blah, 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 must needs, blah, 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 blah. Got a bad feeling about this. No, I was wrong. I see, I see. I think I've got the long and the short of it. It goes without saying, but we owe all of you more than we can ever repay. If you need our other things, then they're at your disposal. Now, here's a here's a blueprint for how to make them blow things up! There's just one problem. You need the forum's approval to set foot on the Isle of Ham. Word up to me you'd be on the next ship out with a load of dynamite. But that lot can't wipe their asses unless it's in accordance with procedural motions. You may be rest assured that my backside is immaculate. That... <clears throat> that haughty voice can only be one person. Thoroughly <laughs> extomped thighs! Master Fortunal, and score like Maltshane. What a surprise! Pardon the intrusion. The forum has deliberated your petition, and we decided to deliver our verdict directly. Well, Monty's here, so it's got to be good. I would hope the matter of pandemonium is not overshadowed, but oh god, oh god, a giant ass freaking castle from the ancient past appeared in, um, I almost freaking forgot. <laughs> you have been granted special dispensation to travel to the Isle of Ham for the purpose of etheric extraction one, on one condition. On account of its rich deposits of ether, the island is home to vicious monsters. We ask that you slay any such creatures. Oh, Fortunal, you shouldn't have. A monster slaying mission? Oh, thank you. I mean that sincerely. He's like, is that all? Given the vast amounts of ether we seek, I expected a far higher price. Oh, <laughs> believe me, we do not underestimate the value of what you desire. Nay, we simply owe the students of Baldesian and their esteemed collaborators a debt of gratitude, and we feel that expediting your request was a suitable way to repay it. <laughs> a debt of gratitude? We have taken the liberty of arranging your passage to the Isle of Ham. Your vessel awaits in Scholar's Harbor. Oh, goody. Well, then I better get those Afer tanks loaded onto the airship. We'll be ready to take them when you need, assuming it's safe. 
Safe to blow things up! I shall head back to the Annex, but should you need anything else, do not hesitate to call. Krell is good, people. And it's cutscene time once again, once we talk to the captain. Bound for the Isle of Harm. You look like the ones Master Fortuno told me to expect. I mean, You're he should... to depart, and so am I. Just say the word. Engage. Is something the matter? I did recruit one other to our party, but he is late to arrive. Is it Raha? <clears throat> I mean, if, if it were Raha, he would have been here by now. Oh! This is Thancred! Forgive me my delay. Hey, Thancred, how are ya? Pal, buddy. Thancred? Tis good to see you. Boy, Luke is gonna be thirsting when she watches this. It's gonna be Uri, Thancred. If it isn't they do grow up so quickly. Don't they, though? Ring sensor. He tells me we have a host of exciting new tribulations to face. Ring sensor regards. And you must be zero. I've heard all about your daring do in Garlemald. A pleasure. Of course, Thancred flirts with her immediately. Apart from strengthening our company with his redoubtable skill at arms, Thancred may also serve as a mentor in ah. those matters that mm -hmm. trouble thee. Right. All the all the ether stuff. I may need to lower my microphone just a skosh. I speak of the intangible forces which bring souls together. Thancred is possessed of experience both unique and insightful that I am sure he would gladly share with thee. Oh, you're talking about the fact but us. You're talking about the fact that Laha Bram possessed him all those years ago. Am I gonna fly am I about to flash back to a realm reborn here? Are we about to have a little scene? Alright! And we enter the Aether Font in the Northern Empty. This must be out. This place is pretty! Holy shit! Arr, little baby bears! Arr, oh, oh! Careful, little baby bears! This place is full of monsters! Oh, Stola wouldn't like it here. She's, uh, she's actually afraid of those things, apparently. This segment is important. That's one freaky looking thing. Let's see what kind of final boss this dungeon has. Will it be another Final Fantasy IV boss? Yes, yes it will. We saw him in the frickin' trailer. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Yep. All right. Not a hard fight. That's not why I'm... Oh. You go around in circles and you dodge his tentacles, but the game almost crashed on me just there. Ooh, nice cutscene. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me because I thought the game was going to crash and I was going to die. I had to do it all over again. Oh. Okay. After the battle is over, we pass through the portal as we usually do. For a cutscene. Holy mackerel, that's a big old fountain of ether. Oh look, an airship. Hey 
Hey, dang cock, how's it going? Much obliged for clearing the way. We'll get to work at once. Try not to blow everything up while you're here, okay? Filling these up will take a good while. I appreciate it if you stood watch till we finished. You got it, pal. I ain't getting chewed to chum by some ether bloated bugger. <laughs> Slay them all. Oh, by the by. Oh? Where were you planning on putting these to use? We could deliver it by airship, see? Provided it ain't too far. Garlemald. We would need them transported to Galimon, to the Tower of Babel. Ah, uh, that's a long old journey. Too long for a direct flight. Tell you what, we'll send them over with the scheduled shipment of provisions headed that way. Can't we just use the Ragnarok? I'll make the arrangements as soon as we get back. Save some poor chocobos having to drag this lot through the snow. Hmm. You have our thanks. We shall not forget your generosity. I'll... I'll pick him up something to blow up later. Oh, wow. So the canister's just... Wow, it's pretty rad. Woo! There's crystals everywhere, too. Everything seems to be proceeding apace. I dare say you would have been fine without me. Well, I mean, I was tanking so we didn't really need to bring you, but we're glad of your company all the same. Why would you say such a thing? Eh. Oh, these two are gonna flirt now. by contract or the threat of force. And you gain no advantage by devaluing your own contribution. Has he been briefed on her, uh, unique personality? Yet you must be bound by something to speak thus. What is it? Love? What binds me? Hmm. The Force. It's the Force. A belief, I suppose. Born of our shared struggles. You wouldn't believe- no where my comrades go, I have faith they will be fine. For I know that they will walk their chosen path as surely as I walk mine. You wouldn't believe the shit we've been through, Zero! I trust them, in short. Trite, though it may sound. We all need a little triteness in our lives. Trust. Yeah, you know, like the system we just used? Yeah. I remember the word. How long has it been since last I used it? I don't know. When was the it void? Had no place in my dealings. Not with other void sent, and certainly not with Xenos. Not even in the time before darkness engulfed the world. Oh, you didn't use the word before then. Oh. Full often did memoriates betray their own. Corrupted by the very power they wielded. You could trust no one but yourself. That sucks. Alone we fought. And alone we fell. And that's how the world got, you know, turned to darkness, yeah. I wouldn't know how to trust. Is there some trick to it? Hmm. It's the age-old question. <laughs> Just stay close to this one. You'll learn in no time. <laughs> Probably. Absolutely fine. Hmm. Don't go doing that, Thancred. I might have more words of counsel to offer. Don't have voiceovers in your head. Oh, she'll soon get the hang of it, even without my help. After our work here is done, I'll see myself back to the shadows. Papa Limo did that, and he died. But before that. I take it you've heard as well. What? 
Heard what? Indeed. The client seeketh Archons. Client. And twould seem our extensive travels and neutrality make us prime candidates. The client. Well, assuming we take on the request, hmm? I suspect I'll be stuck with you again. Don't let me down. Hmm? Client? What? What? What client? Hey, I'm included in this, right? I get to go on some kind of crazy adventure, right? You're gonna drag me along, right? Right? Okay, so Thancred's been added to the Undending Codex, we have completed the dungeon, and the next phase of the main quest has been added, but we're gonna do all that in the next one. That's our show, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please leave a comment, share, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Have a good one!